But a little peek wouldn't hurt, yeah? No, please wait! I'll be good! I'll sleep on time! Don't go! This better be good. Where are you? Ashton, it's six. Six in the morning. Sun hasn't even risen. Hell, my brain ain't even awake yet. What do you need? Get your ass here, pronto. Here? Uh, hold on. Can't this wait until I'm actually awake? 
No, Rebecca's not. Here is where, Ash? Ermengarde Memorial Hospital. ER. Becca's already there. I need to be off somewhere. Just get there, please. Did Isabella ever feel this way when she visits her father? Rebecca? I'm here. Wake up. Zach, did Ash call you in? Pretty much. Woke me up, actually. Said it was urgent. What happened? He didn't tell you? Not really. He just said I needed to be here. Is everything all right? It sounded pretty urgent when he called. The way that guy phrased it, I thought for sure you had gotten into an accident or something. <sighs> I'm sorry, Zachary. It's just been a long night. I don't really know how I'm supposed to break this to you. Ashton should be the one doing this, but... The guy's busy again. No worries. You could tell me anything. No, it's... It's Isabella. I'm afraid I can't quite follow, ma'am. You weren't entirely wrong. But it wasn't me, obviously. Last night, she... She got into an accident. A car accident. She was hurt pretty bad and they had to rush her here. How bad exactly are we talking about here, Rebecca? 
Critical. But I don't know. I didn't see her myself. When I came here, she was already in the ER. Has been since last night. The doctors haven't said anything since then. And Ash? He's looking into the crash. He hasn't called again, but he promised to keep us updated. Called her out, you know? I promised I'll treat her to dinner if she gets out of her room. I was only hoping it would cheer her up after the news. The one about her co-worker yesterday. And now... I should have just kept my mouth shut. If I did, then maybe she'd still be... Hey, don't blame yourself. You had no idea this would happen. An accident is an accident. If there's someone you should hold responsible for this, it's that... that ass who ran her over. Ash will find that guy, don't worry. I wish it were that easy. God, it's one after another, Zachary. And no one will tell me anything. I came in here asking for her and all they said was, She's in critical condition, ma'am. What are we supposed to do? I want to do something. I need to do something, but I can't. Not when she's still in there, still, still fighting for her life. I know you're worried, Rebecca. We all are. But you have to think about yourself, too. I'll be straight with you. You look like you're a few steps away from falling over. How do you think Bella will react if she sees you like this right now? You don't have to mince words with me. Just say I look like horse dung, Zachary. I won't be mad. All right, ma'am. You look like you stepped and rolled in a pile of horse dung today. Not the same thing, but the way you are... There doesn't seem to be any difference. There. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> but, yeah, she'll scold me. Believe me, Belle will. She whines with how bossy I am every time, but she doesn't realize how she's every bit of a mother hen as I am. Don't tell her I said that. <sighs> and then maybe she'll laugh after. She never does stay mad with anyone for long. That she does. Or you could always offer her food. You don't have to tell me. That has always been a last resort. It works every time. <laughs> Look at us talking like she's gone and left us. I'm sure it's nothing like that. I think... I think this is just us hoping we won't lose her. We won't. <laughs> you sound very sure. Uh, well... Times like this, the only thing left to do is to hope. Maybe pray for the best. But I don't want to believe those guys inside aren't doing the best they can to save her. They have to be if they've been at it for hours. And Isabella's... you know how she is. She's stubborn. I think that's a good thing. I... I want to believe she'll make it through because of that alone. <sighs> I'm a mess, aren't I? One unfortunate incident, and I'm all ready to give up hope. Can't even keep myself together when nothing final has been said yet. 
We all are. A mess, I mean. In more ways than one. They have to keep monitoring her. But she's okay now? We'll just have to wait? Not... Uh, not exactly. She isn't out of the wards yet. But alive, right? I mean, she's here. Even with all this stuff attached to her, she's gonna be fine, yeah? I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. The doctors, they had to put her in an induced coma. They had to, after the seizures. 
It wasn't looking good. Something about the trauma and the head injury from the accident did that. I know I should have listened better. I'm sorry, Zachary. Half of it didn't even sink in. All I understood was she's on life support now, but... Oh, but they aren't expecting her to make it. Her chances aren't good from the start. They can't just say that. They don't know her. I, I'll talk to them. They'll see reason if I just... I did, all right. Already did. I told them to get their asses together. Even made a promise to try. But you mentioned they still have to monitor her. That means they haven't given up on her, right? They haven't. I insisted. But with how things are, they said she might never wake up. And if she ever does, she might not be the same anymore. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I was angry when I told them that, and it just came out of my mouth. Maybe they're right. Maybe I should have just let them... You did the right thing, Rebecca. You don't know that. What if she doesn't want this? Do you see all of these? Wires and tubes and bandages everywhere. She's... she's barely herself, clinging to dear life as it is. She can't even hear us. Doesn't even know there are people here worried sick for her. The point is she's still here. Don't beat yourself up over what ifs. This ain't over for her, I. Right? I've seen people recover from even worse. Have some faith in her. I do have faith in her. <sighs> you know what? I think this is just a lack of sleep talking. You've been here since when? Last night? Go get some rest, Miss Gales. But Isabella's... I'll take care of her, don't you worry. We can do shifts if you want. But go home first. We'll talk about that later when you ain't looking like you're about to fall apart. If you keep going like this, you're the one who'll end up here next. <laughs> this feels like a conversation I had with Isabella a few days ago. I said the exact same thing to her. <laughs> then maybe it's a sign you should rest. Let me take over from now. Maybe. But I'll keep that in mind. Are you sure you'll be fine alone? I'll come back this evening. So if you need anything picked up, I can get it for you. Nah, no problem on that front. Besides, if I do need something, my apartment's just a few blocks away. Skipping a hop, that's all I need. Focus on getting some sleep. Let me take care of this for a few hours. Do it for everyone's sake, hmm? We'll do. Thanks, Zachary. If something changes with her, promise me you'll call. You'll be the first one to know, ma'am. Well, if it comes to that. I hope the news I bring will be better than the one we got this morning. Crazy thing having to wake up to this. I hope so, too. I'll see you later. This is stupid.
Ugh. Hey, Ash. How long have you been here? Just came in a few seconds ago. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Figures. It's not a problem. You probably need to rest anyway. You're the one talking. You look like shit. <laughs> so I've been told. Seriously, how long have you been up? 18, 20 hours or so? It doesn't matter. I'll get some shut-eye later. Where's Rebecca? I sent her home early, but she'll be back to... It's not mine. Always prepared, ain't you? I just packed what she'll be needing for a few days. I figured it'll be easier for me to bring her things since I live next door. Go take a break now, Zachary. I'll stay with her until tomorrow when her aunt gets here. She's flying over from the other side of the country. Had she had to file a leave to get here as soon as possible. Oh, what a mess all of this is. Don't you have class tomorrow? You sure about that? I can always call for a leave, too. I've got plenty, since I rarely ever use those. Someone has to stay here after... No, I'll take it from here. You don't have to do that. Zachary and I can handle this for a few days. Both of you already had your turn with this. It wouldn't hurt to have another person helping out. This isn't some sort of a competition, Ash. We're doing this because someone has to be here for her. I'm not making this one. I just volunteered, didn't I? Don't you have an investigation to finish? And Zach has freelance gigs in line for the next few days. You have students to teach. Don't push it, Becca. All three of us have things to take care of on our own, but between us, it should be easier to find some time to- Fine. Good. Do what you want.
You go ahead, Zack. I'll take over for now. You sure this is fine? Yeah, sure. It's not like this is a hard task. I'll probably get more sleep here than if I stay at the precinct or in my car. I'll call when something changes with Isabella, if that's what you're concerned about. You ain't worried? About what? This, everything, the accident, I don't know, you tell me. You were there, weren't you? About this, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I'll find out myself who did this and make sure that bastard gets his just desserts. He? So you do have an idea who? Vaguely, but nothing conclusive yet. I'd rather not say anything until we've got everything sorted out. It's... it's a huge mess. This and that other case. It might even be related for all we know. Thinking about it gives me a headache. Do me a favor, Zack. Make sure you keep away from the rights this time. Tell Rebecca the same thing. I'll remember that. See you later. If you catch up to Becca, Make sure she gets home safe. Will do. Go get some sleep yourself. 